to a very popular vacation spot. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. In fact, ahead of the upcoming holiday weekend, governors in nearby states are warning their residents not to travel to Myrtle Beach. NBC's Dasha Burns is there. Uh, first of all, Dasha, what are officials there? What are they doing in Myrtle Beach to try and contain the spread ahead of the 4th of July holiday weekend? Hey, Craig, well, all eyes are on Myrtle Beach as this peak time for tourism coincides with a dramatic uptick in cases across the state of South Carolina and here in Myrtle Beach. Tomorrow, the city will be voting on a mask requirement for visitors and residents. And here to talk about all of that with me, I have the mayor of Myrtle Beach, Mayor Brenda Bethune. Mayor, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank You've got you. a big weekend ahead of you. How concerned are you about this big influx of people and how important is that vote on masks tomorrow? Well, personally, I think the mask um, order is crucial, especially this weekend. And, you know, hindsight is 2020. Our hotels opened back up about four weeks ago. I wish we had done it then, but we didn't have the same issues as we do today. So we are seeing increases in cases, and I think we have to do this tomorrow. Governors in these surrounding states have called out Myrtle Beach as a hot spot. They've told the residents to rethink coming here. What's your response to that, and what are you doing to keep people safe? Well, my response is Myrtle Beach is a very small portion of Horry County, literally 2% of the entire county. And there's no way to determine exactly where everyone contracted the virus or if people coming here brought it here. Um, our cases were well under control, and when we opened back up to our visitors, that's when we started seeing those spikes. I'm not one to place blame on anyone. I think we have to deal with the situation that we're given and placing blame doesn't help solve issues. So we are dealing with that. We are encouraging everyone who comes here. We need our visitors desperately, especially right now. But we want them to be safe while they're here and we want them to go home safe. Myrtle Beach is, is tourism, it's everything here. How do you balance the, the needs for your businesses to be open, to make up for lost time and, and public safety? Well, public safety is top of mind every single day and will continue to be, especially for our residents and our entire community. But our business community has suffered. Uh, tourism is our only economy here. So we really thrive on our visitors. We need it to survive. And our businesses have done an amazing job of taking care of their employees, uh, following all of the safety and social guidelines that are in place. And now we just need to take that a step further and all of us to do our part with wearing of the mask and getting the message out. Thank you so much, Mayor, for your time. And Craig, the businesses I've spoken to have emphasized they are ready and, and need people to come in to make up for those months where they were closed down. This is a peak time for them, and, and they're eager for it, Craig. Yeah, indeed. Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina, golf capital of the South. Uh, Dasha, thank you. Meanwhile, in Florida, the case count breaking records once again.